In this video, we'll talk about the database and information system development process. Now, I found this um, funny picture on the website right here. And it talks about when a customer requests a project and what they tell us, what we deliver, what they need, and so on. So let's look at it. So supposing that a customer came in and explained this project as the project they want. You know, sometimes customers are not the best in explaining what they really want or what they really need. Now, our project leader might have understood it like this. And the project leader will send it to the engineers. The engineers always like to overcomplicate things. So this is what they come up with. Then our programmers will write the code. You know, the programmers sometimes will write something that just needs to work. So this is what they come up with. Now our sales representative's tasks is to make the thing look pretty in the eyes of the customer. So this is how they describe it to our customer. Documentation is usually bad. So this is how we document it and our operations will install this but then as a company we want to make profit so this is how we will build our customer and then our help desk support is going to be something like that but then out of this all the customer actually needed is this part right here so the main thing that will make a project go wrong is miscommunication. So let's talk about data modeling. So the data modeling is the first step in the database development in which the scope and general content of organizational database are specified. So we are trying to avoid miscommunication. We have two popular approaches to information system development. The first one is system development life cycle or it as we know it in the industry as SDLC which is the traditional methodology used to develop, maintain and replace information systems. The other approach is prototyping in which requirements are converted into a working system that is continuously revised through um, close work between the analysts and the users. So let's see uh, both of those in a little bit more details. So if we want to compare between those two, SDLC is the traditional method. It's highly structured. It's well planned and details, but it's time consuming. Prototyping on the other hand, is uh, following rapid application development which is referred to as RAD or R80 it has less planning and adaptation happens iteratively but then it's faster than prototyping I mean than SDLC sorry so the first phase uh, phase of SDLC is the planning phase so the purpose of the planning phase is to understand the client's organization and or business. In the database activity, we will uh, design our conceptual and enterpri enterprise modeling in which we will analyze current data and data requirements, we'll analyze business functions, and we will identify the scope of the database. The second phase is analysis, and in the analysis phase, we want to do a thorough requirement and structure analysis. So we, we gather the requirement previously in the previous phase, which is the planning phase. Now we want to do some kind of analysis on those requirements. In terms of database activity, it's going to be conceptual data modeling, which is defining entities, relationships, attributes, and rules. And we will produce what we call the conceptual schema, which is detailed technology independent specification of the overall structure of 
organizational data. What do we mean by technology independent specification is that uh, the conceptual schema is going to not rely on a certain technology. So we will design it in a way that the um, next person is going to be able to take it and develop it based on any technology. The next phase is going to be logical design. So the purpose of this is deriving information and requirements uh, information requirements and structure so in terms of database activity the logical database design is what we are going to be performing in this state so we will transform the conceptual schema into logical schema so the representation of a database for a particular data management technology is what we are looking at this refers to tables, columns, rows, keys, and constraints. The next phase is the physical design. So the purpose of this is to develop the technology and organizational specification. In terms of database activity, we will define our database to the database management system. We will decide on the data organization, and we will design processing programs. We will also design what we call a physical schema, which is a set of specifications that describe how the data from the logical schema are stored in a customer's secondary memory by a specific database management system. So uh, we will be able to say, okay, based on this database management system, let's say MySQL in our case, this is how we are going to store our data. Next phase is implementation and in this phase the purpose is to program to test and then install and then train the user on our system. In terms of database activity it's basically the actual database implementation along with any implementation of any programs We'll install the database, we'll perform some testing, we will train our users to use our database. And uh, for the programs, they can be developed in any other language. So the database is going to be developed in SQL, but then the programs can be developed in Java, C Sharp, Visual Basic, .NET, any application or any program that can contact the database or talk to the database and pull information, push information and so on. The next phase is going to be maintenance phase. The purpose of this is to monitor and repair and enhance any problems or anything in any parts of our system. In terms of uh, database activity, we will monitor the database performance. We will tune the database to improve, improve the performance if we need to do so. We will be able to be fixing database errors and we will also recover the database. Now, as you see from maintenance phase, I have another arrow going to planning phase and this is going to go through the cycle once more. So why do I have this? Is because the plan the maintenance phase is the longest phase of STLC. It's going to be there throughout the life of the system and anytime we have a problem we will have to plan and analyze, do logical design, physical design and then implement and then go back to maintenance. So anytime we want to do any kind of fixing or uh, improvement, we will have to go through the cycle once more. 